Hello everyone and welcome back to From City to Country. I'm Kizzy and today we are in house. You come to say hello? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing something really exciting. Um, I received a package about a couple of days ago and I'm going to open it on camera today. I'll give you a little hint as to what it might be. One second, let me just get changed. Can anyone guess yet? It's something to do with bees. <laughs> We are exploring beekeeping. So we've ordered a automatic flow hive, although it's not the brand flow hive, it's the unbranded version that I found on Amazon. Um, they were doing a sale, so I had my eye on it for quite some time actually, and the sale finally happened and decided to purchase one the flow hive the real flow hive um, it costs a lot of money I think in between like five and maybe nine hundred pounds depending on what you get um, and on Amazon I got this for a uh, hundred and 160 something pounds which is a bargain compared to the original flow hive so without further ado let's start opening this box so excited so so excited been wanting to get the beehive for probably over two years now and it's finally here. It's recommended if you're just starting off um, to get two. So I think I'll we'll order another soon in time for spring. That's when the bees are up and about again. All right, I don't know if you could see that. No, you can't. Let's see. I can get you down. So I've opened the first box and this is what comes in the box. So it's called high frame. Oh this is the high frames in this box. Oh and I think this is the the lever that you use to um, get the, the honey to flow out instead of you taking out the individual individual um, high frames and um, processing it in a separate machine to get the honey out. Um, so I thought that's quite handy. Oh, this is really cool. So it says high frame. So how does it work? The high frame fits into a standard Langstroth super. So let's see what's in this box. See if we can construct something now. These are the individual sides for the beehive. Oh, it smells really nice. Wow. I think this smells like it's either cedar or pine. Oh, that smells really good. 
comes with a full pack of screws and little knobs and stuff for the trays for the flow hive. Oh, I think this is a, a little window that you can see the bees from the outside so you don't really need to open the hive to look at the bees if you don't want to, I guess. That's cool. And I guess this is the little door for the window. Give the bees a little bit of privacy. <laughs> it's actually recommended that um, you paint the roof of of the beehive um, that is to protect it from the weather like the rain the snow and yeah it just helps it to last much longer but this already looks like it's been treated like the oil is still coming out of the wood it smells really good the next box has all the instructions for constructing the beehive. It tells you about all the components of an auto hive, which is what this is called. It's not actually a flow hive. Flow hive is a different brand, but this one's called auto hive, which is uh, like a similar beehive to the flow hive. Hi, T. <laughs> appeared out of nowhere he's actually going to help me construct the beehive but before he gets to the building um this came in the post as well and um, we'll be reading this it's called the collins beekeepers bible it has um the history of bees honey recipes you're excited as well. Practical beekeeping and bee habitats. It tells you all about how to keep pests at bay, um, how to protect the hive and so on. Um, I've started reading it last night and it's even got um, what the bees, what the different bees look like. So the queen bee, the workers and the drones. It's like full of so much useful information in this little, well, not really little book, but yeah. I thought instead of just getting separate, separate books with different aspects about the bees, just get this one, which seems to cover the whole lot. So if you're interested, I will put a link to where I got this and where I got the beehive um, and then you can have a look to see if you're interested in doing that next year as well. Now without further ado, let's hand over to TK to <laughs> construct this beehive and leave it to professionals. <laughs> So this is the, the hive frame which consists of partly formed honeycomb bells so it's not all joined together it's made that way on purpose um, so that the bees can 
um, form the rest of the honeycomb um, until they cap it and then it will be ready for harvesting. This looks like it's been made really, really well. So according to the instructions that came with the beehive, um, it just shows you firstly how to construct it and also what each component is for. So what I just showed you, the high frame fits into a standard Langstroth super. So this, we now know that this frame is actually a Langstroth, which is bigger than um, the national beehive, the national size. So um, yeah, so if you need to buy um, extra high frames because you want to, I don't know, something happened to it and you need extras now you know which size you need to get um it has two simple doorways and are cut in one end of the box to allow access for honey collection end frame observation and tool access for operation it also shows you what it will look like um, when the bees have completed the comb with their wax um, and when they fill the cells with honey and when they finally cap the cells ready for harvest. And when the frame is full, it's ready to harvest. Let's get back to building. Now do it like this. Hold it there. Almost there. Trying to do the roof now.
I think I can do roof. I can do this. We finally finished three and a half hours later the beehive, the automatic flow hive. You take the key and you put it in to the hole like so till it reaches all the way back and what you do is you turn it and turn it until the honey starts coming through the hole here. Um, there are tubes which goes and attach is here which makes it easier for the honey to flow out into um, your bucket or your jar at the bottom here um, yeah I thought this was really really handy and as a new beekeeper um, I think this is a really nifty, nifty beehive. Now coming towards the side, we have a little window here where we can pull apart to see what would be the bees on the inside, um, filling up the gaps um, with honey. And as you turn this key here, you should be able to see the, the honeycomb shifting. Let me see if I can uh, get that for you to shift. There we go. It goes up and down. The whole point of the design is for the bees to fill up the comb. So they designed it so that it's not complete. I don't know if you can see that there. So it's not fully complete. Um, I guess they left that for the bees to be able to fill that up and um, form the complete comb. Beekeeping is something that we really wanted to get into for quite some time now and this is just one step closer to us being able to do that. Um, this is our first time beekeeping so please keep the comments friendly. <laughs> any any um, pointers as to any tips that you may have. If you've used this hive before, um, please give us the tips in the comments below. And yeah, let me just show you what it's like with the roof off. If I can get it off.
Right. I think we we're supposed to screw this bit in, but we didn't drill it in as yet because we weren't quite sure. We have plenty of screws left over from what they sent to us, so yeah, we'll just make it for easier demonstration. So this is the high frame. This is where the bees will be um, forming the honeycomb and storing the honey. And um, yeah. From what we have learned in our lessons and um, just researching, we found that if you pre-cover the the high frames in wax, um, it makes it easier for the bees and the bees are more likely to stay and less likely to swarm. So I thought I'd just uh, share that with you all. <laughs> we can't wait until we get our bees in here. The plan is for us to catch a swarm and possibly buy a, a nook and queen where we get the second one, the second beehive that comes to the post. So we're really looking forward to that. We are still learning, of course, on the next side of the, the hive is another window to mimic the other side so you can observe the bees on either side. And this is how the window is fixed back. And you turn these little dials here to keep that door in place. This beehive is currently facing the other way. So this, this part of the base would be face, would be at towards the back. Uh, towards the back, there is a little gap under here where the bees could go in and out of the beehive. So as you can see, this is still quite new to us. We are just beginning our beekeeping journey and we'll keep you posted on that journey here. This is a step closer to being more self-sufficient. And there you have it folks, our hive on a budget. Um, we're really happy with the purchase so far. Obviously, um, we need to have the bees so that we can fully see how well it's going to work. Um, one reason that we wanted to get a beehive is to, one, we can learn more about bees and for the kids as well. Two, it will be very beneficial for the garden and the environment. Three, um, the honey for medicinal purposes. Honey is full of um, nutrients, um, lots of healing properties, and it's used medicinally all over the world for thousands of years. Uh, yeah, um, we recently watched a, a video that was released from Amazing Discoveries um, I think it was episode 94 on What's Up Prof and um, Walter Vyth, um, he touched on the benefits of honey. Um, so um, it was, it was um, very insightful that video and it was nice to see that um, we are going along the right track in terms of um, learning how to cure our bodies naturally and um, 
growing the resources ourselves. There's also plenty of business opportunities when it comes to um, honey and keeping bees. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up our video for today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And um, yeah, maybe the next video will be our second um, auto flow hive. And yeah, hopefully you might be installing bees the next time. Clearly we still have a lot to learn about our flow hive, <laughs> our automatic flow hive. I shouldn't say flow hive because it's not exactly from flow hive. It's the automatic flow hive, um, which I think so far it looks just as good. And from the reviews that I've seen online as well, it appears to be just as good as that one. Um, so if you're looking for like, uh, a beehive on a budget check the link down below um, some of the links below may be affiliated so just bear that in mind um, it would help us a small bit if you do decide to purchase any of the um, the products that we've listed below that we may be getting a little piece not very much but a little piece which will help our channel as well so without further ado i will be ending this video here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in our next video take care and god bless bye bye